In today's video, I am going on the road and I am going to a fellow collector's house to check out their collection and take a tour of it. This is gonna be like Guy Fieri meets toys. And this is gonna be a new series. So let's hope that I don't end up at like a psycho killer's house because that would be bad for them. So I'm getting in my car, I'm driving south then I'm driving east out to the bottom corner of Maryland. I got about a two hour drive and we're gonna check out Joe's collection. So let's go. What is up everybody? My name is Matt, often called Big Nerdy. Together we are the NWO, the Nerd World Order, and this is Nerdzoic. This is gonna be fun, folks. I have had this series in my mind for years. I finally made it come to fruition, and it is a lot of work. I gotta be honest, I am not a gifted videographer. I'm a pretty darn good editor. I think I'm good on camera, but actually filming on location is really tough for me. So there's gonna be some learning curve here. So bear with some of the audio could be better, lighting could be better. I'm working on it. It will get much better as we go. So without further ado, I give you Joe. Joe, tell us about what you collect. I collect uh, Hot Toys, old Hasbro wrestling WWE figures, WWF at the time. I'm a horror guy, so I pick up Mecha, any other kind of horror that I come across. Primarily Star Wars. I've been collecting about probably a year and a half. I can see, I know you love Troopers. Is it Troopers and Boba Fett? Is that the game? Pretty much. The Boba Fett 2-pack, I was definitely a must for me because I wanted him in his normal state and his uh, armored state. And the fact that he came with the uh, Stormtrooper helmet that was cracked and beaten up, that was pretty cool. I'll Love the Mandalorian and Boba Fett shows, but then I also spot a lot of control and other things if I come across a good deal. And then we got the Lego helmets up here. I've actually never opened one of them. My kid keeps begging me to get them. So aside from troopers, I see a lot of helmets. What got you into the helmets? I was at a show and I saw these helmets. I didn't even know they existed. And I was like, wow, these things are pretty cool. They display nicely. Again, I try to stay with like, you know, the Bad Batch and the Stormtroopers, Kylo Ren. I love the way they display. We got some autograph horror stuff here. Tell us about that. Yeah, so Art the Clown from Terrifier. I mean, and a buddy of mine, Scott, we went to the Monster Mania in Pennsylvania. I got a couple of them up here. What do we got up here? Laura Lavera and Elliot from the show. Us with the whole crew. We took a picture with them. But yeah, that's Art the Clown. Got the autograph. Got the 1-6 scale. I believe that's from Trick or Treat Studios, the 1-6 scale. Then I found a guy on Amazon who was selling the knife and it was laminated and I figured that would be a nice little three-piece to have in that cube. I love this. Light side. Oh, dark side. Light side, oh, dark side. This statue, what is that from? Like who makes it? Do you know offhand? This is a hot toy. It's called the classic suit. It's from the video game. Funko Pops, people have two feelings. Either they hate them or they're obsessed with them. You somehow only have some of them. That seems to be in the middle. What's your thoughts on Funkos? Like everybody else, when I first started, see these Funko Pops and again, the Stormtroopers, the Boba Fetts. I was like, they're pretty cool. Let me grab them here and there, you know. Now I'm, I, very rarely buy Funko Pops anymore. But the ones I do have, I tried to put with, like for instance, the Boba Fett, I put with the Boba Fett helmet. Death Watch Mandalorian, I put him with the Death Watch helmet, but I slowly got out of that. I'm not interested in those anymore. So you have the Walmart retro Spider-Man with the cell shading there and the lizard. A lot of people would kill you for these. Did you find these in the store? Actually, a buddy of mine out in California got me the lizard and he sent it to me and I, sh I gave him the money for it over Venmo. But the Spider-Man I did find in a local store. A Walmart? Like yeah. not sec? Wow. Is that the Black Series Vader? It is. There's two. There's this one is the original one they made and then there's well, I don't know about the original earlier one they made and then the one over there is from the Obi-Wan okay. Kenobi series. I think they're almost the same. I think just the eyes are darker in the uh, Kenobi one. Yeah, they're red and then there's a little bit of instead of having the full face being black, it's more of a like titanium charcoal gray type color. We get to my favorite detail of yours. This brings back the memories, man. Did you play with the Hasbros as a kid? Hasbros were out in the early 90s and I was a little bit older to play with those, but I did you know, still pick them up here and there and I left them in package back then. I was younger in a time where the LJNs came into play. I do have some of them. I don't have them displayed right now, but I've always liked the way these display and they're just classic and they bring back so many memories. And actually, like later on, my son started picking some of these up in the stores in the, in the, in the middle 90s. I also love that you have the accessories. You managed to get Honky Tonk Man's guitar. You got yeah. the scissors, the million dollar belt that never stayed around his waist correctly. Does Doink have like fabric hair? He does. 
I he don't does. remember that. And yeah, I was surprised too. I got lucky enough to come across the, the uh, big boss man with the baton and like you said, the snake and all those. So I had to snatch them up because you very rarely come with those with all the accessories. What about this Hogan here? Is that a Hasbro? That's a Hasbro as well, yeah. Really? I don't remember that at all. Same with the flare. I don't remember flare getting a Hasbro. Yeah, I don't remember that either. I met, That might have been one of the ones that were done later on. Okay. I'm not sure about that. Whenever I meet a collector, I want to know what's got him into this game, what got him into this thing of ours, in the game, whatever you want to call it. There's always like an inciting incident that gets a collector started and it's no different for Joe. I was talking to a buddy of mine and I said, man, I would love to have some of the old LJN and Hasbro wrestling figures that I had before and some of the old Star Wars. And he looked at me and was like, why can't you? So I was like, yeah, really, why can't I? So I started looking on eBay here and there and then started going to different toy stores, following different hunters after I surprisingly found out that was a thing on YouTube. From there, it just escalated. The TV set up, this is what makes the nerd room complete. You can't have a nerd room without a spot to watch nerd stuff. Tonight's the Rumble, so you'll watch that in here. I love the May the Force Be With You up there. In my son, Luke Skywalker, his original nursery, I actually had a smaller version of that. Or no, wait, I had I Am a Jedi like my father before me, even better. My second favorite part of your collection is the helmets. So I've seen the helmets on the bottom, I think, before. Those are all the Hasbro Black Series ones. But above it, we got some customs of the Bad Batch. Do you want to tell me about them? You were telling me a little bit earlier. Yeah, those are made from a company called Excoser. They are a resin material, but they are fantastic. They come with a little ski cap to get it on easier. But those things there, I, I can't say enough about that company and the customer service as well. All right, so moving on, PS5. Hope you didn't have to pay us. I'm sure you didn't pay a scalper knowing you. You found no, that no, in the no. store. No, I got that from Target oh. in Delaware with no tax. Wow, it's yeah. better. Yeah. Over here, we have more helmets, all the Black Series ones, except for Commander Cody down there. Commander Cody, again, same place as the others with the resin. Yep, x -Coaster. Then I see we have your Black Series Troopers slash Mandos and a random Halloween one. Yeah, it's just kind of a mosh posh of all those troopers put together. And then we have your 375 and some more Black Series with Jabba. Tell us about the lightsaber. The lightsaber, actually, this past year, 2022, I went down to ICCC in Nashville. I figured, man, this is my first time here. I was like a kid in the candy store. I picked that up. It wasn't too crazy expensive, um, but it's just a memory that I'm going to hold on to. It actually has the blade too. I have it in the closet and it brings back such a good memory for me being there this past year. That is pretty cool. And then we have the NECA section. I see Robocop that looks newer and then Alf brand new. Yeah, I'm trying to do like a little 80s shelf. So Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies growing up of all time. I was going to do the 1-6 scale of those through Hot Toys, but I decided just to stick primarily with the Star Wars, with the Hot Toys and all that. And then we have the remainder of the Hot Toys, the Trooper Toys. Yeah. Any favorite? Is it the OG or is it Boba Fett? The artillery trooper I got down Nashville when I was there for ICCC. I did a little hunt at a collectible store down there. So that's my first hot toy I ever had. So that's probably the one that's nearest and dearest. And it's by no means the most expensive one because that's probably the cheapest one that's out right now. You can find it for $179. We got a Vader, look at this, where's he from? I'm not sure of the make of that. Either am I, I've never seen yeah. one this tall. But there is uh, the four foot ones that obviously came out with the stormtrooper and the Vader. I love the two helmets that are hung. How are you hanging these again? They're actually uh, motorcycle helmet holes and they just actually sit on there really nicely. You don't need anything and it sits perfect. And I have one back there too. I absolutely love this, as silly as it is. I need a Darth Vader pen holder. That was like a one of the 3D printed. Somebody in the area was selling it for 10 bucks. He made a whole bunch of them. Wow. I, I was like, yeah, I gotta get it. I love the different art prints you have up here. Double Mandalorian, first one with, well, all the big guys. And then the second one's more of a mishmash of characters from the show and then my kid would love the last one which is like the entire marvel universe yeah. together not gonna lie i love the fact that you have the movie theater set up in here this is giving me serious ideas for the next time i actually have space for a nerd room and i have a store even though my wife tells me that all my toys are going with me to the store i don't know we'll see joe has some great advice for new collectors out there and i wanted to take a moment to share it with you just take your time stay on budget and have as much fun as you possibly can because there's so much out there. You obviously can't have it all. I know you want to have it all, like I do. The most important thing is just budget and um, just have a lot of fun. So next up, we have the shelf of loose figures that don't have detolves. So this looks like it's largely wrestling, if I'm not mistaken. We got the AEW stuff in the corner. Looks like Darby Allen broke his leg. Yeah, I had Sting and Jericho team up and they put him through a table there. He probably put himself through a table because yeah. he's hardcore. 
I just figured I didn't want them all standing the same way, so let me throw this bastard through the table. Yeah, there you go. What's the big Austin there? That's a statue from GameStop. This is a GameStop exclusive, that one and The Undertaker. I thought they were pretty cool at the time. I'm slowly moving some things out into the other toy room in the basement here and there. Things come in, things go out. Wrestling figures are one of my favorite things to collect, and it's scary because I don't even sell them because they don't sell well, but I love collecting them. So for me, I'm mostly Warrior and Hogan these days. Everything else just kind of takes a back seat. I haven't picked up that Jake yet, but I still have nightmares of him having that Cobra bite Savage. Yeah. I watched that on Wrestling Challenge in the morning back in the 80s. Me too. That was cool. With the Ultimates, I absolutely love them too. I kind of wish they had more of them coming out quicker. They seem to come out really slow. I like the mean Mark Callis back there. At this point, the only thing for wrestling I really like keeping in the box is when they have exclusive. Like when they had that Slaughter, mm -hmm. when they had Mr. T, I love his box, yeah. but not for the most part. And then we have the, the new retros. Yeah. I feel like they're disrespected. They're away from the Hasbros. I actually haven't seen any of them. They look amazing. They sell these at Walmart and uh, yeah, just Walmart. I've never seen them before. You can tell I haven't been into a- They're the, the wrestling superstars, I think they're called. They're, they're pretty yeah. cool. But then Mattel Creations makes the actual ones that are smaller, like the old Hasbros. And then we have the Universal Monster Turtles. Well, actually, we have The Last Ronin first, which have you read that by chance? I have not. About a week ago, I decided to read it. It was really good. Yeah, I'm planning to. It was like a heartstring tugger. It was dark, too. And then we have the Universal Monsters, like I said. What's your favorite one of them? For the longest time, I was saying it was Frankie, but I think the mummy. Really? For me, it's that Leo. I love that hunchback Leo. I tried to keep the mummy with the NECA mummy, the Frankenstein with the Frankenstein, you know, show homage to the originals. And then we have your horror NECAs. Pinhead's my favorite one, it always has been. Although the Candyman looks good. Yeah. My favorite, I think, is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, Leatherface in the, oh, in the back. Oh, yeah, it's my, my favorite horror movie, so I gotta stick with my guy Leatherface on that. What's this Batman here? That's a Batman statue, uh, DC statue. Oh, DC, okay. Mm -hmm. I just put him with the Dracula. I think I made a short saying, that, hey, yeah, you're, you're my say. father, you know, looking at Dracula. <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was. Like, I know yeah, Batman. Yeah. Like, is that from the movie? The I movie? believe it's from, yeah, I believe it is from the new, the Batman movie. Yeah. And then we have a Bella Lugosi Dracula. You told me you found this at a horror con? I did, Monster Mania Con in Philly, uh, in Pennsylvania, right outside of Philly. And then we have your Rebel Fighters. Yeah. All of those guys together. How many helmets do you have? you know offhand? About 15, maybe, 16. I'm counting 24 helmets. I was short <laughs> myself. It's a lot of helmets. Yeah, I just got the Luke Skywalker the other day. That's not a Black Series. All the others are. Oh, that's this Luke here? Yeah, that was an exclusive to Disney. It was actually around the same price as or less than a Black Series, but I like it better because they weathered it more. It's better than the, in my opinion, than the, uh, the, than the Black Series one. These shelves you have here, well, you have them here, you have them for your TV. Did you buy them just for the helmets? I kind of did. They're from Ikea and they do have different sizes and configurations of them, but I think they're Kalaks. I actually just measured some helmets and went down there and measured the display. Worked out good for a TV stand too at the same time. And then we have the R2D2. I'm thinking that's the interactive one. It is. Yeah, I got that from Marketplace off a guy who was just trying to unload things and probably one of my first 20 purchases, I think. And then we have the oversized Boba Fett Funko. I do like the oversized Funkos. I do like that one. All right, so you got to expand here. What's your plan with this closet here? Yeah, so I, I'm planning on trying to find a home for some of these other toys that I don't want to unbox yet. Definitely not the two signed ones, but I want to take the rack down, the clothes rack, and I maybe put Billy bookcases from Ikea or some more Detoffs in here, and then take the doors off, trim it out to, to make it not look like a door anymore, take the doors off and make it just look like part of the room instead of a closet. Like many of us collectors, Joe has some fond memories of certain toys from his time growing up, and you can obviously see how it influenced his collection. I still have the little small Smurf characters they used to sell back in the day. I still have a bunch of those in a bag. I remember because we used to go to the to a grocery store, and next door was a little knick-knack type store. And every time we go there, my dad just knew we had to go next door and at least get me one or two for that week. Joe runs a couple different podcasts here on YouTube, and you know what, Joe? Just tell them yourself. We started out well that effing figures as a toy show. It kind of escalated into movies, pop culture, music. I mean, I've got toy collectors coming on. I've got a guy who owns a food truck coming on. I have a lady that owns a toy store in Las Vegas, Nightmare Christie, coming on tomorrow. So we have an array of people that have been really generous to us by giving us the time, as yourself, you know, as, as you did. And uh, it just makes it for not the same repetitive thing every week for us as it could have been if we would have stuck with just the figures and the toys. What autographs do we got up there? 
So um, Britt Baker, I uh, met her at a uh, wrestling con in Where Baltim at? Baltimore. Baltimore, oh, was it uh, StarCast? No, it was Celeb Fest, I believe. Okay. So her and Sting were there. She was super nice, she really was. I believe that. Imagine if you went to the dentist and that was her. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, do people nerd out as they're getting a root yeah, canal? Right? Pull whatever you want, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are these cards down here? They look older. These cards, they're a gift from uh, a friend of mine on from uh, YouTube and the podcast we do. Um, they're just uh, old Boba Fett cards. Oh, and awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, they're very cool. Yeah, I gotta find a place to display it because I'm running out of space. The uh, the plight of the toy collector, I'm running out of room. Yeah. That's like our yeah. never ending battle. Yeah, exactly. After tearing down the equipment, Joe says, hey, you know, let me show you the overflow area. So we went downstairs and dude was holding out of me. This area was set up pretty nicely too. It's definitely a great overflow. Too bad he can't like connect the second floor to the sub floor so they're together but what are you gonna do it's the collector's plight man for a guy that's only been collecting 18 months this was an amazing collection i can't wait to see what it looks like 18 months from now if you are in the northeast of the united states and you want me to come travel to your place to do a collection tour you're in luck i am accepting applications to do so down in the description below there's a link head on over say hey i want to get a tour follow the instructions and we'll get you on the list of potential tourees i guess is the word and remember you gotta get old but you don't have to grow up just be cool and stay nerdy. Later.